they're stationed in Houston on two. We are happy with the look. Nicole is a little bit hiding back there, um, but otherwise everything looks good, and you guys are go for your PA a little bit. Everybody looks great. And we are ready for the event. Okay, Houston, we're ready for the event. This is almost former commander, Gennady Padoka. And we're ready for changing of command ceremony. Some words before changing command. For me, it was a great, a big and great honor to be commander of six Purpose and Crew for the first time and the biggest honor for me right now to pass command to the next commander, the first is a commander. It's a great example of our real partnership for this unbelievable project in ASS. I would like to express my gratefulness to all my crewmates, Mike Barrett, Keiji Wakata, Tim Copra, Frank Dean, Bob Tirks, Roman Romaninka, Nicole Stott, only thanks to their support, understanding, great psychological aspect. I was commander and without my crewmates I would be nothing as commander. And right now, space station and former crew is ready to take over command and I hereby take over command to new commander Frank Devin. Thank you, uh, Gennady. You have uh been a great example uh, for me during your uh, four months. Uh, it was a pleasure to serve under you, uh, and you will for always be an example in my life. Uh, I've always been proud to be European, and Europeans always uh, had a great heritage in exploration. Therefore, it's for me a great honor to take command of the International Space Station, the only exploration outpost, human exploration outpost in space at this moment. But it's also an honor and an achievement of the European Astronaut Corps and the ESA European uh, Human Spaceflight Program. Thanks to their achievements, their effort and their work, uh, I can now resume command of the International Space Station. But like Gennady said, it also symbolizes the success of the International Space Station, where every partner, big and small, can play an important role. It clearly shows what humans can achieve when they decide to work together and put aside their differences. I just want to take a moment, kind of interrupt the uh, change of command uh, and uh, add my congratulations to Gennady and Mike for doing such a great job and bringing us to uh, six crew uh, integrating uh, the, uh, the second Soyuz on board and then welcoming and us on board during the handover period. As uh, most of us know within NASA, there's a, there's a tradition within NASA that we have uh, for flown astronauts. Uh, and typically, we, uh, when we return from our first flight, we get presented to us an astronaut pin that was uh, uh, designed a long time ago by the Apollo astronauts, Apollo era astronauts. And of course, uh, in the space station days, we have um, a patch uh, that the NASA astronauts wear who go long duration and exploration. It's called the 100-day patch. And normally, we get that presented to us also after we land after our first flight. But I would like to take uh, the privilege and honor to, uh, to present uh, Mike, you uh, a flown astronaut pin, now flown on Soyuz TMA-16 in the last few days of uh, Expedition 20. I'll try not to shed any blood it's okay, because the folks are watching. 
And here's a, a flown 100-day patch for you as well. So congratulations to you. Thanks very much. Well, thanks very much. Uh, for a first flight, I'm probably one of the luckiest astronauts or cosmonauts out there because my first flight was just incredible, almost seven months and a lot of events that make spaceflight wonderful. So uh, this means a, a great deal to me, and to get it up here is a great honor. Thank you. The best thing about being an astronaut is flying in space. Uh, the second best thing is working closely with a group of uh, talented and dedicated, highly motivated people it's, uh, who, inspire, uh, who inspire us. I'd like to thank uh, Russia and Europe for sending us their very best in uh, leadership, Gennady Padalka and Frank DeWinna. Uh, they have a depth of uh, knowledge, uh, incredible skills, and tremendous uh, teamwork and leadership ethic. And uh, the omen is that uh, increment 21 is going to be one of the best aboard the space station ever. Thank you, Bob and uh, Jeff. I strongly believe that societies that uh, stop exploring uh, will stop progressing. Therefore, I hope that also in the future, Europe and European Space Agency will continue to play their role in the international partnership for space exploration, taking up more and more responsibilities, including manned space transportation. European ships and sailors have always sailed all the oceans of the Earth. I also hope that in the future I can see that European manned spaceships will fly to the ISS and beyond. Our joint intellectual efforts multiplied by the human spirit of exploration will take us to new heights. And Frank and Gennady, on behalf of the ground teams around the world, we just want to thank Gennady for his excellent service as ISS commander of Increment 20, and we really look forward to continuing operations with Frank as the new Increment 21 commander. Gennady, Mike, Guy, thanks for all you've done since arriving on board the ISS. It's been a pleasure working with you, and we hope you have a safe and soft landing tomorrow when you come home. I hereby turn over command to Frank Devin. I hereby accept command of the International Space Station. Thank you, Gennady. Hey, hey, hey. 